Hi, magandang umaga po. Ako po si Mary Ann Angeles, isang nurse dito sa New York City, one of the epicenter of COVID-19. Tunghaya niyo po ang aking lockdown diaries. Hi, magandang umaga po. Ako po ay nasa train station ngayon sa New York. So, wala pong katao-tao. Tanging ako lang. Naginday ako ng train. So, ayan po. Wala pong tao. Malinis. Dahil sa COVID-19. So, tingnan natin kung may tao. Social distancing, tayo ako lamang ako sa pasahero doon at doon sa kabila. I'm going to work after today's double shift. Um, I'm going to work to the eleven. Hi, this is me. We're here now with my colleagues. We're monitoring one patient. He's almost dying. So he took he took okay, her blood pressure. It's like one. How much is that? 58 over 29 and the cost oxygen saturation is only 68 and then the heart rate, heart rate is only 41 so this is my colleague I can this I'm a lot so I've been tested the other um, week last Friday and positive. So, because I'm exposed with my patients. Siyempre, nalulungkot ako kasi parang, siyempre, you're taking care of other people, pero ikaw, nagkasakit ka dahil sa kanila. So, I was crying the other day. Siyempre, Ayoko naman tawagin akong hero bilang nurse pero I'm trying my best dahil sa sinumpaan kong tungkulin bilang professional nurse. So, natatakot din ako na one day, syempre mamatay ako tapos yung mga anak ko maiiwan ko, then paano na sila? can say like, ako din minsan sobrang trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. Minsan, nakakalimutan ko na din yung sarili ko na alagaan. So, I learned from this that um, no matter what, um, you need to you need to have time for yourself. Yung malaking bagay na magagawa ng mga tao is to stay home. So, so we can save more lives and then, um, um, don't take it for granted because um, you never know na sa huli yung pagsisisi. Kasi parang in a second, you know, you're gonna waste your life. 